You know what? I'm going solo. I'm businessman, and that's my business. He's gone rogue. I don't like need a you maverick. Guys. <laughs> I'm gonna run this country my own. Nothing like a. I'll just grab one of the videos of the Dropbox and do a solo commentary session, and it'll be so sweet. <laughs> Alright, we're supposed to be nice to each other in this. You'll need a soundboard. <laughs> make soundboard no, you'll need a soundboard of rock tumblers so you can talk over it every. <laughs> so you can talk over it and then have. <laughs> <laughs> Playing Scoop Scoop, guys. Jeez. Uh. Well, he's like the elderly uh, character <laughs> that Dick Van Dyke played in uh, Mary Poppins that died. <laughs> You know, when they saw him, he was bedridden and on oxygen and just constantly wheezing. <laughs> White flight escape. Alright, so Santa. I forgot about that one. <laughs> it was in the last video. Oh, well, I didn't see it in the last video. Uh. <laughs> Did we lose Rock Tumblr? Did he. What? No, we lost Jackal. Nope, we lost Jackal again. That is hilarious. <sighs> should we, re like, re-invite him because he's clearly tearing this group apart? Yes, we should. Is Although I'm reminded of him right now for some reason. <laughs> oh, right, he works at McDonald's. Very subtle. <laughs> is Burger Shot supposed to be a pun on something? Because I don't get it. Uh, if you look at their signage, it's Burger and Crosshairs. I know that. Or you could just say it's like, Shot, so, maybe I don't know, Money Shot. Oh, maybe. <laughs> or how about <laughs> The Drackle Burger Shot is when you smear the hamburger, hamburger all over the girl's I face. I did. <laughs> I think Rock Tumblr muted his mic or unplugged it just out of rage. <laughs> he's so, he he's so mad at us, but he can't say anything mean, so he's he's choosing to say nothing. And I can't because oh. I'm trying not. He's turning the. I'm trying not to catch these vegetables. <laughs> he's trying not to catch any onions. Playing the scoop, scoop. <laughs> not playing scoops. <laughs> Man, what's up? These are some ugly ass buildings. <laughs> uh, welcome to Lost Is there a in this call right now? <laughs> Is this the end of the steampunk abortionist? Yeah, the sexual tension, you could just cut it with a knife. <laughs> I think we need Missile Waster, actually. I think that's the problem. <laughs> to, like, act as the, uh, the force that keeps us together. The mediator. The, the like, um, clueless kid who everybody <laughs> can't be mad at. <laughs> so oh, <adorable>. missile waster. <laughs> so naive. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, back to Caligulars. Just leave my jetpack out here. And then put it back on. Y you can't go inside with it. Well, they've got they they've got uh, jetpack valets. <laughs> they just fly him to the roof. <laughs> and then they parachute off using their Hello Kitty parachutes. Oh, it's these dudes again. Oh, Rosie. It's the guy from The Clash. <laughs> this is Dimlo. Why does he want me to keep my barnet on? Hey, a parrot. He doesn't actually say that in this game, but I was just curious. I 
again. And that's how I ended up here. But no one family would trust another family to run the casino. Man, check out that bald spot. Like or whatever halo. that is on his forehead. Oh, Tony, you're the best supporting character ever. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, never mind. What, you thought, oh, we named him after Tommy? Yes, wait I did. Second. That's a ladder. We gotta peep this. I'm gonna shoot over to the hospital and move the body or something. There you go, my love. Things ain't so bad, are they? <laughs> no, that's oh, how a commentary of the thing list. should be. Non existent. Where did your. <laughs> well, to be fair. So here I am. Bobby Tom rescues. He's just running around in circles. Oh, hang on, CJ's having another inner monologue. <laughs> <laughs> More stellar gameplay. What am I doing? There were at least this five really Elvis I impersonators am. on screen at any <laughs> one time in this game. <laughs> hey, one just flew out of the car. <laughs> and there was another one in the car. <laughs> it's like a clown car, except instead of clowns, it's Elvis impersonators. What the? You stole that car just so you could drive to your motorcycle? <laughs> Hell yeah. Yes. Man, that's then I should have ramped over the car into the tree and <laughs> stolen the SUV. <laughs> you drove to the airport, stole a helicopter, and flew back over and jumped out onto the motorcycle. <laughs> there is no iPhone SDK for Windows. I can't make cause pop for the iPhone. Oh, they only make it for Mac? Typical. Yes. You might as well kill yourself. That's actually pretty stupid, considering a lot more people have Windows than Macs, and they'll probably get a lot more people making apps through the App Store. You should just, um... If you really cared, you'd get a Macintosh. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta ram... I, I, I just gotta run into this, uh... I gotta ram into this, uh, concrete light post thing crouch first. I'm not going to buy 8,000 computers so I can make Bill Cosby appear on my iPhone. <laughs> Yes. Oh. You You're would, not really you committed to the totally cause. Do. No, ran into it twice. <laughs> you are committed to the cause. <laughs> Damn it! Where is that post? That hurt like shit, and then he does it again. Oh, not again. It's like that table you keep running into and you're hitting your knee. It's like Sideshow Bob and the Rakes. <laughs> <laughs> Rock Tumblr, are you grumpy? I think he no. was just um, intent on looking for that application. <laughs> I'm a grumpy Gus. <laughs> a grumpy Gustav. <laughs> I'm a frumpy blumpy. <laughs> You're gonna have to abandon your bike if you want to cross this water. You can't afford the stream. You can't afford it in your bike. <laughs> well, fuck that. <laughs> the thing those ropes are like <laughs> really strong and don't give at all. And what's more impressive is the fact that they're completely two-dimensional. Ran over another. Elf. So they're gonna be made out of like spider silk or something. <laughs> You know, I really wish that they had a separate stat that hey, would keep track of how many Elvis uh, impersonators you 76 bullets. <laughs> the year of uh, the signing of the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> hey. Plus 30. <laughs> oh, say can <laughs> you see? Hey, it's Enrico Palazzo! <laughs> <laughs> There's... you just passed three more Elvis impersonators. Yeah, guess. but if only there Here's was, like, the a, an official step that, that you keep track of. And I don't mean, like, because you don't have to check after that. I mean, he's in the last possible one that you could check. And that you Listen do check. You mean it's scripted? Yeah. You are done by 
by this man, your hero, that America is the greatest. Uh, you know, I actually. He told you that Americans were the greatest. I am refined like silver, could have the impurities hammered out of it and shine more brightly. He went on about how precious America was. How yeah, we don't want to like talk over you because you get mad, but what the he fuck? Told you anything was justified to preserve that great treasure, that pearl of great price, in America. Well, I say America is nothing without its yeah, idea. Anyway, so I'm not entirely sure if it's scripted or not, but uh, I guess we'll find out. Do you quote Bioshock or something? Oh, I'm, I'm quoting, uh, what if Captain He's quoting America the Captain America thing. Oh, okay. A flag is a piece of cloth. I fought Adolf Hitler not because America was great, but because it was fragile. I knew that liberty could be as easily snuffed out here as in Nazi Germany. As a people, we were no different from them. When I returned, I saw that you nearly did turn America into nothing. And the only reason you're not less than nothing is that it's still possible for you, too, to bring freedom back to America. There is a long silence, then. That... that is him. That's the real Captain America. Okay. That is from Marvel's What If number uh, 34. What if Captain America will revive today, published in April 1984. The entire preceding four minutes will be replaced by the beginning uh, botched recording that we did before. I think Rock Tumble was expecting them to, to say the whole uh, speech and then we just start going, Whoa, that's some quality uh, title card there. Yeah, well, I was doing this in a rush earlier, and like I said, you know, I feel like shit today, so... So, like, fuck it, MSP... And I don't think this was the last ambulance this time. <laughs> this was the second ambulance I checked. What's with all these valets? So it would appear to be completely random. It's the valet convention. <laughs> There's valet LA. At least eight thousand Hello, LB. Valet LB. In, in a herd... That band is shooting at Bed Day Valet. Never mind, who cares? Yeah. By American McGee. <laughs> American McGee. American McGee. For <laughs> American McGee's Bad Day LA. By American Bad McGee. A product why of American McGee. Oh, I don't understand why he did that game. I was so surprised when I found that out. What, Bad Day LA? Because he thinks he's edgy. But, like, it's the worst. I made Doom. I worked on Doom, guys. Come on! Yeah, so did John Romero, and look what that did. Yeah. You did it. All of you. But he made Alice, come on, that was a great game. Are you it gonna was get so that, that gothic. thing lift out of there? Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna get the know. helicopter and lift it up. <laughs> smash it into every Scratch single it. object in the game world. And then he'll wow. import it into another So piece. that by the time, uh... But by the time I rolled Johnny out of it at the end, he's just like completely frappéed inside his body cast. <laughs> Dealer frappéed. <laughs> Dealer. <laughs> <laughs> I seem to have a bush clipping through my body. Those mafia guys are not your fan. Nature is not on your side. <laughs> nurse. Oh, nurse. Body. CJ. <laughs> hey, see nurse, come here. <laughs> hey nurse, peep this. <laughs> I know you. I know you blind. <laughs> <laughs> the Adventures of the Blind Nurse. The blind nurse. <laughs> this fall on ABC. That'd be awesome. She'd be injecting them with the wrong medicine all the time. <laughs> she's going to be. Like blind, she's going to be the new character nurse. on Scrubs. <laughs> You're discriminating on basis of my disability. <laughs> I'm fat. Just because I'm blind, death, and only have one arm doesn't mean I can't be a nurse. <laughs> she can take pulses. <laughs> also, I'm mute. She's writing this on a piece of paper, but somebody else has to hold the paper. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell are we talking about? Oh my god. <laughs> Look the fuck out, like... CJ. The airport. <laughs> Don't let the airport run into you. 
pull up alongside the airport and shoot at it. You know, me try and hold it steady so you can jack left it. Left for dead that none of you will get. Oh well. Cool. What about Thanks. Left for Dead? Said this reminds me of a quote from Left for Dead that no one will get if I say it, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Working airplane. That means a working airport. Let's go. <laughs> That's a pretty poor train of logic. Their logic is impeccable. <laughs> And well, they the get air to the airport, and of course it's all fucked up. <laughs> hey, that airplane's flying in the air, that means the airports are all safe. Because <laughs> clearly the airplane must have come from the nearest airport. <laughs> and couldn't possibly have come from another location. Man, you know what the ambulance needs? An actual radio. You know, fuck hearing people, like, getting calls for rescuing folk. Hey, whoa! What's going on? Is that guy? Is that guy you put hey, yo. on top of your car? Yep, Johnny Sandaco. And what happened? Why is was he in the hospital? Or if you prefer, because you put him on the top of uh, your car. Because you know, shock him into a coma. Scare him, right? <laughs> yes, he went into a shock-induced coma. Dang. Oh, I'm so shocked. I believe you mean over. dag, yo. <laughs> hey, whoa, I'm in a coma here. <laughs> hey, whoa, I'm trying to sleep here. I'm so shocked. <laughs> I'm so shocked. They, uh, what they did was they, they ran a series of tests. They gave him a CAD test, and they found out that his uh, spookometer was full. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a spookometer reading of over 100. <laughs> a doctor, I think. His spookometer reading's off the charts. <laughs> Over nine. I was trying to avoid that joke, but <laughs> well, okay. when you said Rock over a hundred, like <laughs> you, you had to know somebody was going to say it. Rock Tumbler lowers the I was bar. Hoping maybe for we us were all better than that. Once again. <laughs> Once again. Hey guys, have you seen these lol cats? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, you know what's funny? Boogers. Oh great! Well, hang on. Let me post them all to HillaryIs44.com. <laughs> Girls, Will. Smash into that. I thought I would go over it. Clown's <laughs> pocket. Wait, which is? Oops, I pooped a little. Never mind. Are you getting all duded up to 